Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti and this is episode 14 of the Cruiser Clash Tournament. Today we have featured the uh, Heavy Burden by Zionix facing off against the Puddle Strider by myself. Uh, if you'd like to know more about these craft, find out more about their weapons, their armor, all those sorts of systems, I do an overview video for each entry in this tournament and the link to the playlist for those can be found in the description. For now though, we're going to get straight to, the straight to the battle and I don't imagine it'll take long. The, uh, the Puddle Strider is rather weak to lasers. Um, it relies on its speed and maneuverability to, to avoid damage, which lasers completely negate. And as you can see, it's already down to 96%, though it is, uh, it is returning fire and getting damage right back in. But with those lasers, and it being as fast and maneuverable as it is, uh, it does have smoke, as you can see here, but it tends to outrun them outrun its own smoke clouds because of that and it has been shot down uh, which actually could end up being a good thing for it because the uh, the smoke clouds will it will no longer outrun those and with it being underwater that'll even help negate the uh, the damage from those lasers even further uh, the problem becomes at that point uh, whether it can maintain its weapons because the, its guns are not designed to be fired underwater and missiles fired underwater tend to not function properly either. See, like, those missiles are just going off into nowhere. They didn't uh, home in on their target at all. Um, it, it seems the, uh, the heat gun was firing. It is firing, but it is getting awfully close to hitting its hitting it, the, the Puddle Strider itself. And these heat shells are just not very effective against this type of craft. Because with those distraction cubes, like, these are all structural elements. And structural elements don't care that much about uh, the heat projectiles. They don't take that much damage from them, if any. I'm not entirely sure if they take any at all. Um, the initial explosion from the heat detonation will... Uh, do some damage, but not a whole lot. So they are very, very ineffective. But the missiles are still coming in, are still doing a little bit, and both of the heavy burdens have stopped firing. This one has taken damage to its lenses, so it is no longer firing. This one um, is firing now. I don't know why it wasn't firing just a second before that. But it must have gotten whatever was wrong fixed just as I was looking at it. You know, go figure, right? And those those heat decoys are proving effective at uh, stopping many of the heavy burden or the puddle striders' uh, offensive attacks. But it's whether or not the repair bots can get them repaired between missile swarms and prevent that from uh, those missiles from continuing to hit. The Puddle Strider's at 91%. The Heavy Burdens are... Oh, we're going to have a collision! Oh! Oh! One Heavy Burden is running into the other one. They're grinding into each other. Messing up each other's aim. As the uh, a few missiles here and there still keep coming in. But they, uh, they're really liking those heat decoys. Which is, of course, you know, the whole point of the heat decoy. Uh, they seem to have broken up from each other now. Uh, one not heavy burdens down to 90%. The puddle striders at 93%. This is a, a pretty amusing little situation here. Because the, the puddle strider is unable to get back out of the water once it is down in the water. It has no way to do that. Um, it might get lucky and its thrust may pu push it out of the water if it gets moving fast enough. Like, drag may the help that out, uh, but that is unlikely. Uh, uh, this heavy burden is now down in the water, and the Puddle Strider is launching its vertically launched missile volleys now, and those are going to start hurting. One heavy burden is down to 86%, Puddle Strider is at 95%. Uh, the heavy burden has gotten itself back out of the water now, though, but it, it is still not firing. And that, that heat cannon, while it's not going to do a whole lot of damage with each of those shots, uh, if it keeps hitting consistently like that, it will be enough to keep the repair bots from fixing it, most likely. But that's really not the big problem. The Puddle Strider really needs to knock out this heavy burden if it's going to have a chance of winning. But let's go check and see how the Puddle Strider is doing. Because it has healed a lot. A lot of those missiles are damaged. Um, 
the heat gun is having issues with aiming still. It's basically the same position we last saw it in. Nothing has really changed. It's just repaired some blocks. Oh, but if it keeps rising up like that, that'll let the, uh, the cannons get some shots off through the missiles are launching properly. I'm not sure why this cannon isn't firing. Is it... Uh, it's, it's turned around inside the, the compartment there. I don't think it's able to fire without hitting the, the pillbox that it's sitting in. Uh, but both heavy burdens seem to have ceased their firing. I, I'm rather surprised the, uh, the Puddle Strider seems to have gotten lucky here with that, with it falling in the water like that. And now that it's gotten back up and has its weapon systems coming back to bear, it's, uh, managing to win the fight because it, it has disabled the heavy burden, sh uh, um, weapon systems from while it was basically tanking their shots from the water, but now it's out of, the missiles are out of range. It looks like they're running out of fuel before they arrive. What is the range? Yeah, they're just like right at the edge of the uh, the missile's range here. That that heat cannon, while it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, it is doing enough. It is removing blocks. It is keeping the heavy burden from repairing here. And it is slowly stripping away hit points. But now the other heavy burden is uh, active again and firing. Oh, but there's a full missile volley there from the heavy burden, and that is going to, if that connects, if they have the fuel to reach, that is not going, oh, uh, nope, not quite. They did not have the fuel. And now the, uh, the Puddle Strider is sinking back down once more, even though it's at 100%. And now it's rolling over some, probably because of buoyancy. And that's causing the cannon to lo no longer function properly. But it was able to get off another missile volley. And it's a question of whether or not... Oh, and now the forward Sabo cannon is back in the fight. And that is going to do some damage. That will knock some blocks off. And there goes the heavy burden doing one of those uh, jolting maneuvers again that it, we've seen it do before. Where it just kind of shimmies all of a sudden after taking a hit. Not entirely sure what causes that. That was less than the flip it did before, but... Oh, and there it is. That heavy burden is destroyed. It is despawning. And the missiles are still... Oh, apparently it's not despawning yet. It's just AI dead. It'll probably despawn here in just a moment. Leaving this heavy burden facing the Puddle Strider alone. But if this thing hasn't been able to kill it yet, I'd, I don't think it's going to. And the missiles just barely had the range to get in some damage there. Uh, let's check on the Puddle Strider. Oh, that that uh, that forward Sabo gun is firing again, and that thing will definitely do some damage to this craft. the The heat heat cannon isn't going to do much, but those Sabo shells will definitely tear off some blocks. Yep, this heavy burns on the 85 percent. Puddle Strider is at 100 percent, just sitting on top of the water, firing. It has become a boat rather than a thruster craft. Those missiles, ah, uh, most of them did not quite have the fuel. But now both the uh, the heat and the Sabo cannon look like they're firing, yep. And if keeping that damage up, they're going to keep that uh, laser cannon from getting repaired. But listing like that uh, will definitely help it. Leaning off to the side, it's making some of the shots miss. The, the bobbing motion is also helping. But that's not going to do enough against those missiles. And now that the Puddle Strider has moved in closely, they have plenty of fuel. Oh, ouch. Uh, I am surprised that the Puddle Strider... It looks like the Puddle Strider is going to pull this win out. Uh, I was expecting it to be soundly defeated. Uh, it basically got lucky with how it fell in the water. Like, let's be perfectly honest here. It, it got very lucky. Yeah, it, with how it fell in the water, its smoke was able to cover it so it could repair, and it did just enough damage to knock out the lasers so that when it fully repaired and got back up on the water and was able to start fighting, the, the heavy burdens were disabled and unable to, to finish it off. So that, that was very lucky of the Puddle Strider there. Um, and it has indeed won the first round, just barely, with 33 seconds left on the clock.
Uh, that was a, that was a close fight. That took a while. Like most of the battles with the heavy burden have been very quick. It's like either it dies quickly or it kills its enemy quickly. There's there's generally not been that much of a media, uh, of a middle ground at this point in time. But we will get everything reset, get everything spawned back in, and we will see if it really was just luck or if the puddle strider will uh, uh, win a second round here, or if the Heavy Burden is going to utterly annihilate it like I fully expected it to in the first place. Okay, here we go, round two, underway. Let's see. As you can see, just starting out, the blocks just, they, they fall off like crazy, and oh, there goes the heat cannon, it was just shot off. Uh, laser must have snuck in through the pillbox slit there. The uh, the missile strike from the Puddle Strider is coming in, doing some damage. Not enough, though. It did not disable the gun. It is still firing away. Both sides taking damage. Puddle Strider's down to 88%. The Heavy Burden's 92%. Yeah, if, if the Puddle Strider stays out of the water like this, it's going to take a lot of damage. And, uh... I don't think it'll be able to do enough to keep up. Like, the, uh... The heavy burden's DPS is just too much. Oh man, those those missiles are trying super hard to hit, but they unable to line the shot up. And oh, the puddle strider is down in the water again. Oh, it's actually despawning. It is destroyed. Well, its AI must have gotten sniped out there. That was a uh, that was much quicker. That's a that's basically how I expected both battles to go. But it got lucky in that first one and was able to pull off the win. So. uh... Each side will be earning four points here, three points for a win, one point for the loss, and uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you out on the battlefield.